A sitting of the House of Assembly is scheduled for Tuesday, November 10th, 2020, with papers to be laid by the Honorable Prime Minister and Minister for Finance, Economic Growth, Job Creation, External Affairs and the Public Service. The Honorable Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Physical Planning, Natural Resources and Cooperatives. The Honorable Minister for Commerce, Industry, Enterprises, Development and Consumer Affairs. And the Honorable Minister for Tourism, Information, Broadcasting, Culture and the Creative Industries. The Minister for Finance will seek Parliament authorization to borrow an amount of U.S. $30 million from the Caribbean Development Bank, consisting of a special funds resources portion in the amount of U.S. $10.8 million and an ordinary capital resources portion in the amount of U.S. $19.2 million for the purpose of financing the implementation of policy reform initiatives designed to support St. Lucia's COVID-19 crisis response and achieving fiscal stability. Four bills are down for consideration, including public finance management and tourism levy. The St. Lucia Tourism Authority, in collaboration with Events Company of St. Lucia, Inc., and guided by the Ministry of Health and Wellness, will welcome the Atlantic Rally for Cruisers, ARC and ARC Plus 2020 fleets to St. Lucia in early December. St. Lucia has been home to the nautical competition for over 30 years. This year's edition will be recognized as the first major event amid the coronavirus pandemic. A total of 26 vessels participating in the Arc Plus departed Las Palmas de Gran Canaria on Sunday, November 8, 2020. The Arc fleet of approximately 60 boats will start the Atlantic journey on Sunday, November 22, 2020. The event this year will take place within the realm of strict COVID-19 protocols, geared towards ensuring the health and well-being of all staff, participants and stakeholders at the forefront of the event. All vessels were required to arrive in Las Palmas no less than one week before departure. Their participants underwent the necessary COVID-19 PCR testing and remained in isolation until departure. They were also required to participate in mandatory virtual briefings on St. Lucia's strictly enforced protocols ahead of departure. St. Lucia Tourism Authority's Public Relations Manager, Jerrine Georges, indicated that once in St. Lucia, all protocols must be adhered to, including daily health screenings while in quarantine. There will be mandatory health screening upon arrival. There will be continued wearing of the wristbands to differentiate non-quarantine participants from those cleared for movement by Port Health. You will also have daily health screening um, of those in quarantine. And additionally, individuals aboard the vessels arriving in St. Lucia ahead of a 14-day period. So as much as they're quarantining from, they get to Las Palmas, mm -hmm. they're sailing down to St. Lucia. If they observe less than 14 days on the water, they're still required to quarantine in St. Lucia. So all efforts are to ensure that this is one of the safest events that we are hosting. Given the nature of the ARC, participants often spend 14 days or more at sea, and in such cases, an additional quarantine period is not necessary on arrival to St. Lucia. Georges explained that those arriving to St. Lucia ahead of a 14-day period from the point of departure in Las Palmas will be required to quarantine aboard their vessel on the designated quarantine dock at the IGY Rodney Bay Marina or at a COVID-19 certified facility until the mandated quarantine period has elapsed. Given that the quarantine period for ARC events will be observed with a minimum of 14 days, COVID-19 PCR testing upon arrival in St. Lucia will be conducted as necessary by Port Health authorities. All ARC participants must always wear face masks once outside the cabin of their vessel. Georges added that social distancing measures will also be enforced, and as a result, all vessels will be docked a minimum of 15 feet apart. Security will be available 24 hours daily to ensure all rules and protocols are followed. Participants were informed that violation of the Quarantine Act is an offence and punishable by fines or prison. When it comes to the protocols and the access at the marina, access remains the same. Of course, you would have had to be cleared by Port Health as a crew member to be able to access the, the regular operations at the marina, just like the locals are able to access. So um, if you have not met the requirements by Port Health, you will remain in quarantine. That means you are on a dock that is secure, that is also um, 
monitored by security so that way you as someone who have not met the quarantine requirements are not able to access and mingle with anybody else saint lucia has been home to the atlantic rally for cruisers for over 30 years the arc and arc plus events 2020 edition will once again culminate at its home base for the 31st year at the igy rodney bay marina from the government information service i am janelle norville